apart with your fingers, you can always use an instant read meat thermometer, and you want to cook the pork to about 190 degrees. So, there you go. We're in business. Let me pull no! Here is our finished pork shoulder. Traditional way of serving the pork is actually pulled into shreds with your fingers. Do you see this? This is called the smoke ring. It's a chemical reaction that takes place when you expose meat to smoke in a low temperature cooking environment. And this is the red badge of honor among pit masters. It shows that you've nailed the pork. Now, simply tear the pork into shreds, and look how tender and juicy this is. If I squeeze it, it almost squirts. So let me show you how to put it together. You take a hamburger bun. It'll fill all the way up to my eyes. With our pulled pork. And then a spoonful of Carolina mustard sauce. The recipe is on our website. And a couple of sliced dill pickles. Now that's a sandwich you can shoulder up to. You got the smoky pork, the sour pickle, the tangy mustard sauce. This is what barbecue is all about. I visited Bali for the first time. I wanted to see a traditional Bobby Guling, uh, a Balinese spit roasted pork. And a pit master took me up on it. Uh, he had me wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. We went to a farm. We selected the pig. And then, as a great honor for this American journalist, he put the knife in my hand and let me do the deed. In a country obsessed by barbecue, Bobby Gooling is a national treasure. The spit roasted pork from the island of Bali is enough to make any Indonesian's mouth water.